Massive, absolutely massive, colossal. We could get anywhere between 10 and 15 million viewers on a Saturday afternoon. A fella came up to me when I was on holiday and he said to me, do you guys realise how famous you were? Because, you know, everybody knew you. This is an Agasaki special all the way over the top. Ooh. People are interested in any mystery, aren't they? The, the Who Danny did the butler do it? You know, I think that's a natural thing to be interested in a man in the mask. I mean, who is that person? Is he, is he a member of parliament? Is he a doctor? Is he a, uh, a surgeon? Is he a famous politician? Who is that person? Wrestlers were recognised in the street and they were just as much a personality in those days ever as soap stars or pop stars today. On a Sunday, I go to Trowbridge, UCW, and I watch them training. I don't interfere at all, I just sit there and watch it. I don't get bored. I just remember turning on the TV one day and just seeing, you know, this ring, thinking it was boxing, my dad informing me it was wrestling, and I just couldn't stop. I couldn't stop watching it, it was just amazing. I'd like definitely like to get bigger um, and look a bit more meatier, but it's... It's hard. Um, there's a, most, probably 90% of the British guys are small. My full-time job, I am a night worker in the local supermarket. I've been working there 20 years, filling shelves really. I ain't management material. I'm nothing now, I'm just a shelf filler. Wrestling? Yeah, you ain't got any other hobbies, have you? I don't have any other hobbies. My, uh, my, my, life. That's why, unfortunately, now I'm uh, I'm now back to being single because my wrestling took over everything. It took over it's, my marriage and my lifestyle, yeah, everything, and that's marriage. what broke my marriage up. You know, the drama. That's what they like. Entertainment. That's what it is about it. There's there's just something in wrestling that other sports ain't got. Roger Brown from Bristol, the referee. Some of the punters had jumped in the ring, and the, uh, a couple of wrestlers had come out of the dressing room to calm things down. I'm pouring with blood. Uh, I've had punch ups with. Fans I have. I was gorilla pressed in Trowbridge and chucked into the fourth row of the crowd um, where there was no crowd, it was just chairs. I can't say with, whether the wrestling actually put me in the wheelchair or not. The doctor at the hospital told me that that didn't help. Whether it had run its course or not, I don't know. Maybe a good job in the end because the people that are around now would never have taken the place of those people that were doing it then. There were some good performers, very good but they haven't got that charisma, that magic. I think wrestling needs to go back to the old school style of wrestling. Because if you used to watch that, you used to have thousands of people who came, and now you just have a few kids. British wrestling, if we can get it back on television, and that's what I'm going for now, I'm going to fight for it to go back on television, it will beat the Americans well above them. Uh, we've got a big super show coming off at the NCLA Newport City Live Arena. One hell of a night coming off, one hell of a big super show. It's this entertainment and, and the fans love it. You get the fans cheering or booing or get them on the edge of their seats or get them stood up in arenas and ripping the roof off the place. You know, They love it. It's all about getting those fans going and getting them to want to come back again and again and again and pay their money and sit their bum on a seat in a hall, no matter how big or small that hall is, and enjoy a night wrestling.